from the Triple M Studios. God, it's all happening. This is the Marty Shear Gold Show. Triple M. Sure is International Women's Day today as well, Marty. Ladies it is. Day. Yeah. Uh, we love the ladies. Yes. Uh, I just saw a, a sort of segment on the Today Show this morning about sexism in the workplace. I haven't seen any of that. Uh, over Here my time. Ours? No, um, no, never. Not 30 always. years in radio. <laughs> Not a bit of it. Not a bit of it. I've seen reverse sexism. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> I have. Oh, you are. <laughs> You're pulling pussy's whiskers. I've been made to feel like meat. Uh, how could yeah. she slap? How, how could she slap? How did it um, feel? Oh, mate, I've been, you know, pushed and bullied by women for years in this business. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple of names spring to mind. Yeah. Uh, Tim Blackwell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. Oh, you like that one? Loz is back. Oh. Loz is back. Loz is back. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a sad day for us, although not for me personally. Uh, Matthew <laughs> is doing his last uh, shift as the executive producer of the show. Yeah. And um, he will continue to join us in moments like this if yeah. you're yeah. in the building yeah. or yeah. Uh, if, if I know. If the new you... executive producer lets me in. Well, that's up to Tegan. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. saying no. It's a flat no from I'll Tegan. I'll make, make my case to get in here, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The producer's podcast, which I believe you guys do weekly. Yeah. <laughs> Have you, you've never listened to it. Not episode. a word of it. Oh, great. Uh, <laughs> I said before, I like that the producer's podcast is now where you get Matt exclusivity. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have, I've we have a, all the rights to Matthew. I've signed an exclusive deal only oh, on the wow. producer's podcast. Wow. Yeah, great. Also For being made by Nova? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I have. Independent. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Um, so, yes, Matthew will still be in and around the show. He's just moving into what we call the programming department of the business. Yeah, which is which what is, you wanted to do. You career. wanted to do for this yeah. for some time. There's a lot more longevity in that mm. part of the business than there is uh, attaching yourself to a show. Yeah. They cycle, they come and go. It's a transient business. Mm, yeah. Uh, to reflect like... just how much Matthew loves that side of the business. I have been in the building when I've been uh, delayed trying to do footy stuff for the mm. weekend. And I've come in and Matthew is just sitting around at like mm. midday mm. listening to BBC radio just over the mm. weekend. Because he no, enjoys no, it. That was before I was. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was my little passion project. Mm. Yeah. That was before yeah. I actually But that's what I mean. You have, yeah. you have such a passion yeah. for that kind yeah. of You're thing. a radio guy. He's a radio guy. Right. You love radio. radio. And you're love radio. so good at detail as yeah. well. Thank you, Troy. Really, really good at detail. I, I would disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about from my perspective. Oh, okay. Yeah. From a technical point of view. When Marty rang me early, early, early in the piece and was like, not too early though, mate. Be careful. I mean, I mean, Real. you know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, before yeah. people knew about this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, no, well, I'm well, not well, saying. Well, well, like who? You, you don't know anything. <laughs> yeah. Like you. you never about? knew anything. I didn't know anything. about Loz. I didn't know anything. Okay, good. Uh, I think you fixed that. <laughs> yeah, I think you fixed that. <laughs> Marty said to me, what do we think about Matt Thompson for an executive producer? And, and you I said, said, absolutely I said, not. Absolutely. And he said, he's never been producer before. And I said, that doesn't matter because he, that man knows everything there is to know about radio. It's true. And the rest will follow. Yeah. Look at him now. You'll end up being the big boss one day, Matthew. Yeah. I've, overnight, I wanted to put a few words together to sort of cover <laughs> off my relationship with Matthew. Yeah. Did you? I couldn't think of any. Uh, <laughs> As I sat down and did a pros and cons list of yeah. the reasons why I've kept him around, there was nothing in the pros list. <laughs> SWOT analysis. I couldn't think of a single positive thing that not only has he contributed, but been able to execute with any sort of competence at all. That is not true. I'm astounded that his journey in oh. radio will continue past this group. <laughs> no one is more surprised than me that they've agreed to allow him into programming. I wish him all the best. Thank you, Mark. Wow, well, thank, you. Oh, thank you, Matthew. Beautiful words. Oh, thank you. Oh, really lovely. Oh, beautiful was words. Making me emotional. Thank you, Mark. Well, he knew you'd like that. He is Heart going felt. into programming. <laughs> he is going into programming where all good people go to die. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> yes, it is, mate. You know me one good programmer. Gabe Mueller. No. No. Coffee. <laughs> Dave Cameron. Dave Cameron. No. Okay, let's not name current yeah. employees. Yeah. Oh, really? These are yeah. colleagues. Well, what am I meant to do? Name ones that don't work in radio anymore because then that defeats the purpose. Let's name some bad ones. Ru- oh, no, Off I was going to say stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's on here. That's a current employee. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> My uh, stomach you... is about to make the biggest sound. Let I'm it. Not Let having... it. But you had non gluten. Oh, it was low. It was low, low gluten. gluten. <laughs> that's no, what that's I not. Get no. You. Yeah. What do you got on Insta, William? Um, oh, funny we speak about gluten because Jared said <laughs> that. This is one of the favourite Matty T contributions. Well, can um, I just stop you there? Yeah. <laughs> I was watching us on the Triple M YouTube yesterday <laughs> yeah. with a mate of mine who was in the background 
And she was like, what's that? I go, that's our sort of, we talk before the podcast. Yeah. Mm. And she was like, wow, because I thought that's what you were putting to air and it is awful. <laughs> She was like, I didn't know what to say because you're just talking. I go, that's what people like it's, in that bit. This is the Podcast. long form. Yeah. This is the yeah. legs up. Genuinely yeah. confused yeah. About, about what was happening. What was Thought on that there. that was what was going to air. Wow. And I was like, wow. No, not oh, this God, chat. No. no, not this bit. Wow. This, this is, no, God, this this is saved for the club. That's right. Quiet yeah. in a second. So yeah. much more engaging. Welcome yeah. to the club, by the way. Yes. Um, yeah. Hi, YouTube. Great to have you. Hi, YouTube. And if you haven't caught YouTube, get on there and wearing those glasses. Glasses for the whole podcast? Yes, he's one the whole show. show. I know, and it's been very disconcerting. I, uh, that's the second time I've Mike watched her. the YouTube. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not sure why I watched it. Uh, there was something I wanted to see. Just on your phone? Uh, yeah, just on my phone. Oh. And whilst I was actually putting content together. Nice. For today. Mm. I just had it. You, yeah. Do you ever lean your phone up against your yeah. PC yeah. and just well, have it in the corner? 45 yeah, degrees. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Fun. Fun exercise. Good multitasking. Um, Thank you. Jared sent through this, which I'd forgotten about. Remember this catering? And Matthew got so excited. <laughs> crab croissants. I oh my God. The croissants. Yes. Oh, crabs. crabs. Oh There's my something God. There's something else fun in here. Hang on. Oh, yes. The dolphin oh, bananas yes. oh, eating the yes. dolphin. The dolphin bananas. Oh, There's right. something else back there. That's, well, there's is there fairy another photo? Starfish fairy bread. Yeah. Yes. Gee, that's clever. Isn't yeah. it? It's clever, got an ocean good. theme. Yeah. yeah. The croissants oh, are crabs. crabs. <laughs> they actually are. Look at I them. Know, yeah, they're genius. Little eyes. Little eyes. Beady eyes. It's lovely. Like yours, Matthew. <laughs> Troy's allowed to tap you as well. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems so much more personal Thank somehow. You. Awesome. <laughs> when Troy does it. Like piss holes in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca. Highest lake in the world. You've got I, so much sweat. Oh my God, I have got Lake T car today. Look at it. Uh, I love it. Call it T car now. Own abbreviation. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, consent for a gross photo yes. from Buck. I don't know if this is the same is Buck, Buck that ends up calling in the show today, but he says, Hey, it's Buck here. So mm -hmm. I think it might be. I think it probably Fell is. off my scooter in driveway, broke four mm. ribs, and mm. dug a hole in my elbow. Oh, oh no. What's oh, oh, happened to Buck? <gasps> oh, oh, oh my oh. God. How, how, oh, like a how does that leg. even work? Oh, Hang on. So that's his, his elbow, apparently. Oh. Why is there so much flappy skin? Oh, that's revolting. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is one we've got to get I'm rid of. But even yeah. when you close that up, oh. isn't it just like a divot? Like I know. it seems to be missing. They're missing it's, bits of his brain. It's like hollow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's quite. That's, I hope that never happens to me. Um, yeah. I have an update, Marty. I think I told you this off air, but there's a the guy we saw who's having the spinal surgery the other day, and he yes. sent through the photo. We thought yeah. it was from him laying on his stomach laying and going on... down through his back. Yes, mm. when in fact he got in touch with me and he said they they go through his stomach to his spine to his spine and. Because we were like, well, where's his spine? And I saw it. If you z really zoom in, you can see it. You can see his spine there. And remember, we said, what's that little bit of gristle? Mm. That's the bit of spine that they removed. That was oh, to they fuse. Oh. Yeah. Jeez, that's a good ball from Cummins. Did you say that? I didn't. Oh, uh, Are you yes. serious? <laughs> <laughs> Is that so switch unbelievably it off. rude? <laughs> switch it off, Lozza. I oh, don't switch it off. No, no, no. no, 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 no we'll behave. No, 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 we'll behave. We'll behave. No, no, we'll behave. No, we'll behave. Tell him you'll behave. Tell him you'll behave. The gristle was spine and they're fusing it. Oh, bye. I, I see why you're wearing the glasses now. That's your fault. Hurry, Hurry up. up. So we don't we know where you're, where you're watching. Jeez. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. Graham Brook's going well, too. Mac has watched our YouTube clip eating a Chico. Mac is? Oh, yeah, there's a photo. Oh, that's a photo, Lauren. I thought you... Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Chico yeah. Roll. Do you yeah. kill a Chico God, Roll at the moment? So Ooh. good. Macca says, first time Instagram, a long time podcast listener nice. from Perth. Good, good on you, yeah, Macca. Macca. <laughs> Cricket's back on. <laughs> uh, what would you... <laughs> What would you put on a Chico roll condiment wise? Nothing. Mayo? Nothing? No. Vinegar? Tomato sauce. No, nah, not on a Chico. Yeah. It's, it's they don't of... need anything. No, because they're yeah. very they're very soft inside. Then it's not like it's dried. The problem is, is there's so much kind of <laughs> fat to a Chico <laughs> that you need some acidity to cut through stuff. I would run the vinegar right. like this along the length of it. Oh, you drizzle it. Oh. To absorb. Oh, just a little. Joining just... us now, we have snack analyst Matt Thompson. <laughs> and Matthew, what condiment would you, put, you put on a Chico roll? Do you put vinegar on your fish and chips? Yeah, but, me too. But brown vinegar, like malt vinegar. He's got so oh. many. So many rules. I'll take white vinegar. How big is your pantry? At home, with all of this stuff. 
Yeah. You I'm must have a beautifully stocked pantry. It Seriously. Is. And organised. Um, <laughs> sriracha could work on a chicken. Sriracha. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? I'd put sriracha on soy <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Soy sauce, I put maybe mix sriracha and soy sauce. Oh, the whole point of this is you're finding something to cut through the fat of yeah. the Chico roll. So a mayonnaise, so very fat. Isn't no, work. mayonnaise oh, is okay. not. No, 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 no. Imagine no. QP on top of a Chico. Oh, yeah. I'd try it though. <laughs> <laughs> I've, come ra- I've come around to that one. <laughs> you try anything. Oh, that's really. Yeah. You would. Snack you would. An experienced snacker. Yeah. Well, what else you got? <laughs> he's, a, he's not an experienced stack. Stack. Cracker. 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 <laughs> But he's an experienced no, cracker. Snacker. Crack snacker. 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 Crack snacker. He's a, he's not... Is it snack or stack? We haven't. Crack snacker. No, snacker. Crack snacker. Yeah, he's a snack analyst, but not a crack snack analyst. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> it's International uh, Ladies' Aaron. Day. Aaron Ooh. had a cooking injury. I was cooking prawn crackers. Oh. Some prawn crackers at home. I love prawn crackers. <laughs> but <laughs> I would like never them? cook them at home. It gets very spitty. They're quite dangerous because you've got to yeah. cook them in hot oil. You can. Yeah. yeah. And they go. Yes, they yeah. do. I've seen. And this is what's Aaron, happened to Aaron. Uh oh. He dropped the tongs. Oil oh went everywhere. Oh my god! Look at the blister. It's like cock and balls oh, blister. That looks like yeah. that's yeah. a that full cock and balls yeah. blister. In fact, oh. it's a beautiful. It's one of the most perfect pains I've ever seen it in is. terms of a <laughs> cock and balls blister. Lauren accidentally called it a pista. It actually works. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a pista. A pussy pista. It's a pussy pista. <laughs> oh, wait till that thing explodes. <laughs> You would lot, just you put a little hole in it down here, wouldn't yeah, you? Let it drain out. Totally. <laughs> yeah, sure, but, there's yeah. a lot of fluid right in, the in there. Remember yeah, when you sure peened our whole office, Marty, yes, and then someone came around and covered it all up with white tape? Yeah, because yeah. apparently you're not allowed to draw cock and balls in the in the workplace yeah. anymore. Yeah, oh. that was the chief operating officer. It was. So of course, yeah. of course, she was going to. Wasn't say she that. fine? <laughs> Didn't I have some humdingers with her? Um, James Budgie, our Photoshop guy, yeah. says it's only fair that I do this for Marty and Troy as well, mm. since they've put on weight. Oh, <laughs> here's, right, yeah. the, here's the two of you on scooters. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! They're motorbikes. Do you know I would love that? What you and Troy? <laughs> Troy wouldn't. Troy's yeah. gonna Growing look at the fat back of, of Troy. He's got you on Clarendon Street. He has yeah. too. Yeah. In full blue. If, yeah. if I look like that, I'd never leave the house again. God, oh, uh, Troy. I'm I'm no, no, I think oh. you're right. <laughs> I think if you're that size, oh, no, you, you've got some other serious things you, going on. Really you really that size. To, you need to spend some time in the house working yeah. stuff out. Yeah. Oh, I just saw the bottom ones from behind. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. A lot of digging around in there before you hit. Hey, Do you reckon you'd find a frog in there? <laughs> you'd find a dead frog in there. Easy. A <laughs> couple of yeah. caramello koalas. <laughs> that, <happened. laughs> that wasn't a Fredo. It was an actual frog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a large frog. Yeah, yeah. A woman had a frog. dead frog decomposing in the folds of her, I'm trying to think of the word, gunt. <laughs> it was just tucked up in there and everyone was like, what's that? Yeah. What's that smell? It's like she'd been pressing flowers. Yeah. Oh. That she was... <laughs> Pressing wildlife. Flora. <laughs> Flora and fauna fauna. rather than yeah, Flora. She's yeah. screwing yeah. down her own gut <laughs> with those screws. Oh. It reminds me of, do you know that scene from Family Guy where he's trying to get the dead frog out the window? Yeah, and it's yeah, just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. This is good from Peter. A nice pov. We don't get many povs anymore. No. Um, so we encourage them, particularly ones that are. My oh, line's looking up. Oh, the, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, Here we go. Hey, Cocan. Oh, uh, SCJ. Um, oh, sorry, I'm reading the wrong messages. He oh. says, great to have Marty at the opening of the AFL season. He's listening to the show nice. at the SCG. What a Lovely. great thing to do, pre-game. Yeah. Uh, beers selling cans at the SCG, which full I think made a return to the MCG as well last year. I was drinking full strength beer at Taylor Swift, but I don't know if that's going to continue into the football season. They, In, no. in, in particular, Bays, I think they allowed it. But I was ah. having a... I'm pretty sure I was drinking a Carlton draft. And you were on the floor, weren't you? And I was on the floor. Yeah. And then I was continued continued drinking. <laughs> Maybe that up. was to help the dads out. Oh mate. With Taylor yeah. Swift. I, as I said to Mick uh, when we Mick Malloy when we chatted about it, I've never been in an empty toilet at the MCG. Yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I had forty meters yeah. of urinal. Yeah. I could have run laps. Even <laughs> Trough Boy was bored. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, is anyone going to wee on me tonight? Hello. Hello. Am I going to have to go into the women's? This is silly. Yes. This is silly. I'm trough boy. Um, 
A flight mare for you, Matthew. Oh, oh yeah. Hi, Hi, team. Hi, team. Says Paddy. Got a flight mare in honour of Matthew leaving. My cousin and I were leaving for a six-week Europe trip last year when we booked our flight to leave on September 11th. That's mm. unrelated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, turns out an hour after takeoff, the pilot announced that we had to turn around and land back in Melbourne due to a wing failure. Oh. This resulted in us having to get off the plane, wait three hours to then be told we had to go home and come back the next day and uh. depart for Europe then. Because of this, our stopover in Doha was changed from two hours to 10 hours. Oh my God. And we lost the first two days of our trip yeah. in Edinburgh. Oh. And then he has sent through the flight map of them that is taking off from That Melbourne. is a flight map. Look at that this for a flight, flight map. Just doing laps around Victoria. Oh, my God. oh, oh no. Oh, they the were bay. burning off fuel. Yeah. All you're trying heavy. to do is get to Edinburgh. Yeah. 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 And that's your first yeah. however many hours. Oh, so you're too heavy to land. Too heavy to land. Yeah, yeah if you're oh, like, how frustrating. Yeah, so you've got to oh, you you get rid of the weight. you can't land that quickly. Yeah, you've got to rid of the burn off the weight mm. before oh, you can be safely land. Oh, then man. your two-hour oh. stopover turns into a 10-hour oh, stopover. And then with all the time zones, you've lost two days at the first, that would drive first me part of the holiday. And no lounges. Insane. <laughs> yeah. God. Excuse me. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> um, um, so would they be full of fuel? But like, if they oh, were, yeah, like, going up to Doha from Melbourne, they'd be chock a block. Fill it to the top. Yeah. Oh, God. And all of that's gone into the bay. Yep. Yep. It has. That's why they're over the but water. But they wouldn't put any of the soil from the f***ing tunnel into the bay. <laughs> They'll let every prick oh, who's ever taken off from Tullamarine drop a full load of fuel in there. But you can't put any f***ing dirt in the bay. Wasn't it? Ki- oh, well. Talking Melbourne. Talking <laughs> Melbourne. They've actually flown over the top of Sorrento while they were dumping fuel as well. Yeah, why not? Yeah, they have. Swung out over the dandies. Not yeah. blowing heads, though. They've gone well clear of that. No. So by dumping fuel, you mean they're literally throwing it yeah. out the back? It Correct. goes out the oh, back I of the... Oh, I thought you meant they're just flying off. around no, so that they... Off. That would take literally as long as it takes to fly to Doha. Into I the thought... wings, it's just, they open up the tanks and it just like... And just sprays oh, out the sprays out. I just out. don't like that oh, at all. What about all the fish? Well, they've got to get down, though. It's a waste of life if you don't do yeah, it. Yeah, you've got to get down, otherwise you can't land. It's can't a waste just... We can lose a couple of flathead in the bay <laughs> for saving 300 people. Oh, we, yeah. wait, we wasted 1,800 people overnight. <laughs> I mean, it's just crazy the way that p- people treat this bay. It's one of the worst bodies of water in the world. It's mm. revolting. <laughs> Japanese bilge water spilling out of it everywhere. I love Port Phillip. Base. Yeah, look, I love it too, but you can't. Pre- it's not pristine. No, oh God, no. no. Like, I mean, you know how many scuba divers go missing in that body of water every year? No, six. <laughs> I did not know that. Is that a Red Z Lending Star? <laughs> That's a Stanley Scoreboard stat. Every year, six. Every year, six. six. six right. And they're not, not dying with, because they're drowning. We've had our six for the year. That's all done. Great. <laughs> they're dying because some disfigured thing comes up out of the depths and grabs them from yeah. all the shit we've thrown in it's there funny, over the years. Because the cleanest I've ever seen the bay, because like I've been fishing in the bay, was after they started dredging, which mm. really mm. should be the dirtiest time because all the... Mm. Yeah, I, got, I got bored too. So <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! I, I, I was great. thinking about I, Husey for some reason. I almost left. <laughs> That's how bored I was. You were talking about Pope's Eye again. Sorry, oh, you love the Pope's Eye. Yeah. Uh, this is a funner plain one from Harry, who said that he was watching the YouTube. Hey, big shigs, you animal! Proof of pod. Sydney to Doha to London, up the pointy end because of work. Oh, yeah, but might like to see what the menu for the British Airways component. Yeah. I would oh, love to. Oh, this evolve. looks lovely. So there is his mm-hmm. seat. Mm-hmm. Um, lovely. How very sensible. But yes. it looks like it's more than a seat. It looks like a little closed-in yeah. cubby house. Yeah. I oh, he's in, oh, he's in first class. Mm. <laughs> it looks yeah. very Look at the size end. of the screen you get in first class. Mm. Compared Huge. to his, like, laptop or whatever that iPad is. Yeah. Tablet, yeah. It's like a home cinema. Look at these menus. What's the menu? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. You've got the cocktails. You've got the Gen Sing, mm. the cranberry blush, liqueurs and yeah. digestives. Let's get to the food. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get to the food. Come on. Snack what Snack do we got? Analysis. Starters, a fresh seasonal meal. fruit, smoked trout, charcuterie plate. Ooh. It's all very plain. You can have though, a full it? breakfast. Yeah, no. Tomato and cheese omelette. I'll have that, mm. thanks. Because it's Butter British Air. pancakes. It's British yeah, Airways. British when, yeah. when you start getting into like Singapore and stuff like that, they have funner menus. Well, you've got milk. the green curry. Yeah. Uh, green curry. Uh, how exotic. The grilled halloumi wrap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. God, you are. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, you wouldn't say no. It's no, it's not plain, at all. Is what I'm saying. I it is had, plain. Look, Whereas, like, I'm underwhelmed by that menu. Yeah. No, if you're on yeah. Thai Air or something Yeah, or like Singapore that. Airlines or something. Which Matthew's first pointy end trip is happening this weekend. You're going to love it. How exciting. Say good day to the guys for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Marty Shugo memorial <laughs> seat as I walk past it. Oh, you know the jet star. Troy, I have a question about that. Are the flight attendants going to judge me if I just want to get straight into bed? Like, no. get, get up to cruising That's... and then I want to be in bed. We like, don't want to enjoy the you say to them, could you please make my bed up, mate? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I'd be wanting <laughs> to enjoy the bed. They're not going to judge me like, as soon as the seatbelt sign no. goes off. Do you know how many flights no. they've done? They've seen a million requests. Yeah, they've seen much worse than that. They couldn't care less. They've on board. You go straight to the toilet, get your little gym jams on, and while you're in the toilet, ask her or him, probably her, to make your bed, um, and then oh. you just go and lay in your bed, mate. Put your wow. put done. your eye mask oh. on. Hang on, your bed requires making. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can't you just make it? Oh well, God, well, you could. Yeah. But, but why, why would you? you? Know how much you're paying for a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you're just gonna be making their job easier by going to sleep the whole time. You will. Yeah, so. true. Yeah. How long's the flight? I can still order food from bed, though, can't I? Yeah, of course. Yeah, great. They'll you take your order before you take off. Wow. Um, oh, how yeah. long's the flight? Seven hours. Seven or eight. Nice. Yeah. And what time are you taking off? Uh, like 7.30 in the morning or something. Oh, breakfast. Oh, you're going to have a day sleep. Breakfast yeah. and lunch. What time oh. are you land? <laughs> day sleep's never bothered him. No. Never. No. never. Yeah. It's perfect for me, actually. Yeah. I think I land just before lunchtime in Singapore. Nice. Yeah. And then what's happening then? You hit the ground, yeah, go we'll to do, the airport. Yeah, do a few fun things, then go to bed. Um, so you've got, you've, you've all obviously already Maybe. organized all of that yeah, stuff. We've got a full itinerary. We're doing all the touristy stuff. What are you doing first afternoon? Um, this might be a dumb question, but what is the touristy stuff in Singapore? Well, there's the Marina Bay Sands. Yes. Ah, yes. Um, and then they've got little sections like, you know, Arab Street, Chinatown, yeah, yeah, little, 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 oh, little India, market yeah. sort like of a, things. A beach club type place, little island, Sentosa. Sentosa it's Island. Like everywhere at one place. Mm. Yeah. It's very small Singapore. Big, I'd love to yeah. go to Singapore. It's just a little island. A little city state. Little city state. That, city state. Day one. of the country. Day we're one. doing a Hawker Centre, Chinatown, and then we've booked a table at a rooftop God, bar. You actually God, have a right. itinerary. Busy. He's got busy. a full itinerary. Yeah. You are busy, yeah. Matthew. I've never planned a whole day But also, like that. well yeah. done for getting there at a time when you can still do something on the first day. Yeah, that's Can't important. Smart. It's going to be great. Smart. Yeah. Good trip. Yeah, anyway, really that's enjoy fun. It. Don't worry about getting your bed, mate. Mm. Yeah. I'm not worried. Just curious. Mm. <laughs> Okay. You'll love it. Sorry I said you were worried. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perhaps we finish with a game for Matthew. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Uh, yes. DC has led this. This is a DC oh. idea. Oh. Good stuff. He's, 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 he's also teamed up with Jay Mueller to make an opener. Oh, here oh, it is. Let's play it. Live from the Triple M Studios, this is Name the Reader with Will Rolston and Matthew Thompson. Great Name to oh, I love the it. reader. That's excellent. He's going to blitz this. Now, Jay's mentioned me, but I think, Troy, you're just going to have to lead it because I don't have the <laughs> You don't have the questions? Me. No. Uh, really, so, the, co the concept is, I'll give you the concept. Sure. We're going to play between one and three seconds of a newsreader saying, yep. good evening, and then our top story. And then you just have to identify the newsreaders. Oh, it's the yeah. gift. Yeah. But yeah. for newsreaders. Newsreaders. Yeah. yeah. I love yeah. this. Wow. It starts easy. National and international. We'll, we'll find out. A lot of these people I do not know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, you have no idea. There's oh, a couple on so here exciting. I'm like, I'm not no, sure who these people are. They are all domestic. They're oh, Australian. They're all Australian. They're all oh, domestic. Well, he's oh, going to absolutely geez. blitz this. Yeah. Oh. I hope so. It'll I be Perth afternoon and he'll be like, yeah. All right. You ready for the first one? I am. Thank you, Troy. Here we go. Good evening. A Melbourne mother is recovering in hospital tonight. Oh, God, that's a long grab. Peter Mitchell, uh, yeah. seven years. Yes. Yes. Well done, Peter Mitchell. We're Level away. one. We're away. We're away. Right. Can we start easy? Great. Uh, ready for the next one? The high cost of preserving the popular public assets. Oh. Mm. Oh, no, this one isn't one of the easy ones. But we, we That's right. No, it's, it's definitely ABC News. Mm -hmm. But it's... <laughs> it's yeah. not Dan Borshaw. It's, Shall we hear it again? Yeah, yes, go hear again. it again. The high cost of preserving Jeremy the Fernandez. Public yes. Oh my God. Jeremy Fernandez. Who is wow. Jeremy Fernandez? Jeremy Fernandez From, does New South Wales. I know Jeremy ABC Fernandez. ABC He's a dark skinned fellow. Wow. ABC yes. News Melbourne, yes. too, apparently, according to oh. what's in front of me. Here. No, he does the he National Bulletin he, on the weekend. Oh, right. Yeah, may, yeah, DC may have logged it from the Melbourne feed. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, so cough. it's two from two. Yeah, let's go. All right, third one. <laughs> let's Good go. evening. A man's body has been discovered on a street in Mount Pritchard in Sydney southwest. That's Nine News Sydney with Peter Overton. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Good. That was sure a, is. That was a little, little layout for you, a little love, volley. I love Peter. All right, ready for the fourth one? Yep. Good evening. An Ingle Farm man is behind bars tonight. Oh, we've got him. Oh, is this mid morning news? Go again. <laughs> Good evening. An Ingle Farm man is behind bars tonight. I, you oh, know I that. can see her. She's Brisbane 7 News. No idea. Oh, God. No. <laughs> no, idea. no. Do you want it again? Third and final yeah. time? 
Good evening. An Ingalls farm man is behind bars tonight. I think I know it. Who do you reckon yeah. it is? Is it Jennifer Kite? No, no, it's the other brunette there. Anne someone? Anne Stone? No. No, no. Anne Saunders? No. Someone Saunders? Anne, Sand Anne Sanders. Anne Sanders? It's not, no. it's not, it's not Anne Sanders. It's, um, it's Adelaide's oh. Channel 7 oh. news reader, Rosanna Mangarialetti. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, Mangarialetti. Adelaide. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Adelaide's I mean, I'm a good. Tough. Um, I mean, Jesus. Well, I'm, he's good, but he's not that good. Okay. Anything else? I've only We're known done? Peter over. No, we've got oh. another, another couple here. Let's go. Next one. Good evening. First tonight to the mother forced to give birth. That's Candace Wyatt from 10 News First. Yes. <laughs> wow. Candace never heard, of yeah. never heard of it. Never heard of it. Never wouldn't she, even consider watching 10 News does First. Does she do weekends on 10? Because no, it's no. Jennifer Kite on 10 anyway. <laughs> keep asking me. Uh, I've got no idea. There's another, there's another four. Here's the next okay, one. Let's get going. Who, who's this? Good evening. A Tane woman forced to give birth on the side of the road. Tom Steinford from 9 News Melbourne. Yes. <laughs> Tom, oh, I would have well, got him eventually. I yeah, I would have got him. The third guy. I wouldn't. What about this person? Thank you, Mike. And that's 10 News. Now you know as much no. as me. Oh, yeah. 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 Is he still going? I thought no. he was no. Valet. No, he's, no, he's not no, Valet. He's, not no, he's just retired. He's retired. Yeah. Yeah. Career Valet. Uh, <laughs> Out of this world phenomenon. <laughs> okay, who's, who's this one? Good evening. An arrest at gunpoint in the CBD. Oh. It's 10 News. Yeah. I mean, gunpoint. Good evening. An arrest at gunpoint in the CBD. Nah, I don't know that one. Who is it? That is Kate Freeban from oh. uh, Channel 10 in Adelaide. Yeah, she does the weather for 10 Not years Melbourne Adelaide. Adelaide's yeah. a blonde. Yeah. Adelaide's yeah. a blonde. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to go. Oh, yeah. one, more. One, one more. One more. One more. One more. You've done amazingly well. You yeah. sure have. You've only missed the two Adelaide people. Yeah. And that's all the news for now. We'll have updates for you during the evening. Until I see you again, may your news be good news and good night. Oh, is that... Brian Naylor? Yes. Yes, oh, it is. It is. Oh, oh, it is. Great yeah. Brian Naylor. Well done. Well done, Matt. Matt. That was fun. Thank you, guys. Thank you, DC, for putting that together. Yes, well Thank done, you. DC. That, There'll be many more games for you to fun. take part in. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Mainly hide the sausage. <laughs> Enjoy the Singapore sling. Uh, let's get into the full show Try. dump from Triple <laughs> 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 Wasn't a oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> The Marty Sheargold Show. Hello! Available on the Listener app. Check it out. Do yourself a favour. Catch up anytime you like. There's even some extra bits. Sounds like an right. OnlyFans page. Triple M's Marty Sheargold Show. Just search Marty on the Listener app. Oh, you dirty mm. old bird.